Surfers love the bays around Cape Town in South Africa, but so do the sharks. The KwaZulu-Natal Sharks Board has made it its mission to ensure humans and the underwater predators can peacefully cohabitate. A 100-metre-long cable with vertical risers that emit a low-frequency electronic field is being tested on the seabed off Glencairn Beach. When they encounter the electric current, sharks should turn away. Sharks have a special sensor which uh, detects uh, electrical fields in the ocean and that's what makes it unique from the other animals. So they, they are the only creatures that will sense this electric field that our cable is generating and feel a little bit of discomfort and move away from the area where the field will be. There is no impact on other sea creatures as they do not have these sensors. And humans shouldn't feel it either. If they do dive down and touch it, they should only experience a tingle. The testing will last five months and be monitored throughout. And surfers will be able to ride the waves with more peace of mind. The predators have killed 13 people in South Africa in the past decade, according to the shark spotters in Cape Town. Well, I think uh, the sharks are here, we have before, so we just have to fit in with them. Um, so if it means putting a cable in to help us fit in together, to live in the same place freely, then it's great. I mean, I think they should try it out and it will, I suppose, have less fear for people who are scared and then more people will go into the ocean and enjoy the, the nature. The electronic field faces numerous challenges. Relentless battering by the sea, marine life and using electricity in water. But if successful, the barrier would be a massive leap forwards from the shark nets on South Africa's east coast which kill hundreds of other animals, from turtles to dolphins.